Welcome back to the PAC Sports Network at the half. Today we're joined by Chatham Jr., Logan Hunter. Logan, you're one of three upperclassmen on this team mm -hmm. and really the most experienced upperclassmen in coming in having played with Chatham last season. What's it like to be one of the team leaders for this very youthful group? Um, it's great. It's a really cool experience. Uh, I never got to be like this kind of a leader before. Such a young leader, I guess you can say. But uh, we have a bunch of different leaders on this team. Uh, for me, I'm more of a lead by example kind of guy. Then we have the more vocal leaders, so I like my role on the team. Now, Coach Garcia had spoke with us about the fact that you are more of a lead by example type of player, um, setting example, whether it be in practice or in the game. Mm -hmm. Give us some examples of, of how you try to lead by example. Um, I just try to, during the games and in practice, just go in hard all the time. I, we uh, talked about it before the year that I kind of wanted to play with a relentless kind of attitude just show the young guys like it's a long season it dreads on your body but I just wanted to keep moving and keep going forward so I think that's what I'm trying to do. Last year first year program inaugural season here at Chatham for the most part pretty competitive team uh, you know went mm -hmm. out there scrapped battled hard um, you know what's it mean to you to be such a vital part of such a young program from last year and of course now this season in year two? Um, it's a lot of fun just playing and going out every day. I miss basketball a lot, so just being able to compete again against teams and play college basketball is a pretty awesome experience. Last year, some monumental wins. Obviously, with it being a first-year program, you're going to have your first program win, uh, and you ended up with a first uh, tournament win at mm -hmm. Geneva as well. First, the, talk about the program's first victory against WJ on the road. Uh, take us back to that game and what it was like for you and the guys. Uh, it was pretty incredible. I mean, we knew going into that game that we were getting closer and closer to our first win. We could kind of just feel it. And we went in that game. Um, all things were kind of clicking for us. And after the game, it was pretty fun, pretty fun time. And you guys were down by nine, so had to battle back and, yeah. and, and rally back and win that game. You had 13 points. Mm -hmm. um, what did it mean to you to, to have such a big game and such a, a, an important victory? Um, just coming down, like, second half, and we were coming back, and then we had the lead. I could just kind of feel it. It was kind of cool to be a part of that. You know, I could be a part of that and help the team out a lot. It was pretty awesome. And that tournament win at Geneva, at that point in the season, you guys had one full year of experience mm -hmm. under your belts at that point in the game. Um, so you're at, at Geneva, PAC tournament, and you pull off that victory on the road. How did that win exemplify how far the team had come? Um, you could tell a lot throughout the whole year how mature we've gotten our experience. And you can even tell this year that just it's crazy how much experience like a one year makes. And we could tell by each game last year just moving forward that we were getting better and better each each play. You transferred here to Chatham from Gannon University. Mm -hmm. You did not play basketball at, mm -hmm. at Gannon. Tell us about what led you here to Chatham. Uh, just when I was at Gannon and basketball season came around, it just it didn't feel right not playing. And seeing Pete guys play basketball, I just I kind of knew like I had to play again. And uh, assistant coach last year, Brian Urso, I knew him. I was in contact with him, and I came and visited. And, I made my decision pretty quickly. Obviously, you got that itch, so you were able to, to fulfill that then. Yeah. Now, in high school, you played for an excellent Hempfield Spartans basketball program. Yep. Uh, played with Division One guys, Tony Pilato, who's playing football at Pitt now, and Cason Harrell, Division One basketball player. Uh, obviously, a very talented team. Yeah. Uh, what was it like playing with those guys and for that Spartans team? Uh, it was a lot of fun, a lot of experience, and kind of different role I had on the team, but it helped me out a lot, I think, now. Uh, they helped me out, put me in the position that I am today with playing on this team. Now, you mentioned that your role, although different then, has helped you now. Uh, in what ways have your past experiences at Hempfield benefited you now here at Chatham? Uh, just being at Hempfield, I played with the same group of guys ever since I was in second grade. So just kind of wanted to bring that same mentality to Chatham, big family type thing where we're all together in this. So. Chatham has a unique opportunity where, with it being just a second-year program, you can bring back your five returning starters three consecutive years. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously you're a part of that, being one of those returning five this year. Um, how valuable is that experience? How have you guys gelled together? Um, it's a lot. Uh, through this past year, all summer, when we first came back this year, our chemistry just clicked with all the guys that played last year and even the helping out the freshmen this year. We just it's crazy how much a year can make experience and how mature we've gotten. So I know Coach Garcia talks about 
not evaluating this program and wins and losses. It's too young of a mm -hmm. program yet. But what are your expectations for yourself personally and for the team this season? Uh, for the team, I mean, I do look at wins and losses a little bit. Like I just want to keep getting better each year. Individually, it's just it's being a leader. I'm trying to be more of a vocal leader this year, so I want to help out with that. What's your major and what do you hope to do in the future? Uh, I'm a business management major. I hope to stay in the uh, sports business world. Anything like athletic director or just behind the scenes stuff, kind of like this. That's Logan Hunter of the Chatham Cougars, junior player. Thanks for your time. Good luck. Thank you. We'll have more coming up on the PAC Sports Network.